Hello there, Alex Payne here with another video in our video series where we're showing you how you can use all the tools in the Builder All platform to begin implementing that in your business and seeing results right away. So if you've been following our video series, you've been able to create a website, uh, an opt-in page to begin collecting leads from your prospects. Also, you've been able to uh, set up your email autoresponder with an autoresponder sequence. That means you're gonna have your business uh, in autopilot. So when people opt into your email list, they're gonna be getting uh, emails and notifications from you. Uh, but nothing is more exciting than to be able to collect money for a product or service that you have to offer to your prospect or to your clients, right? So in this video, you should be excited because I'm gonna show you how you can connect the checkout page and begin collecting money for your products and services. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing is I, I, I went ahead and created a quick uh, flow chart to show you uh, how the checkout page is put together or where in the funnel the checkout page would be located. So let's say you have a product uh, or service and this would be the product sales page. That's the page where you uh, discuss or um, tell people about your product. So you're gonna add all the details and what people are gonna get and the information of how much they're gonna give, uh, have to pay and how they're gonna have access once they pay for your product or services. So let's say people land on that page, they scroll down, there's a button to buy. Once they click the buy button, they go to the checkout page, which is this page right here. And this page would be uh, connected to your PayPal uh, account that you're gonna set it up. And But there's other uh, options that you can also set up for the checkout page. You can just sell, let's say you have a PDF or access to a membership site with a bunch of training videos or even as simple as a one-on-one -on -one call uh, whatever it is that you're selling it's going to be in the checkout page with all that information but you can also have an add-on so let's say you have a video that you're selling you can say hey if you check you know there's going to be a little check box that people click to check look let's say uh, you have a pdf and it's going to be a nine dollars and 99 cents uh, they check the the check box uh, to say i want to add on to my initial order so that's how you can set it up or an upsell so let's say they they purchase the video they click to get the pdf emailed or mailed to them uh, you can also create an upsell saying, hey, I've got another offer to, uh, to offer you. Basically, would you like to do a one-on-one -on -one call with me for another $100, $200, however much you, you decide to charge? So once this uh, page, uh, the checkout page, the add-on and upsell, is created and all set up, then it's connected to a PayPal. So people will go to the PayPal uh, it, once they click you know, to buy and they will uh, approve. And once the payment is processed, then they'll land to the thank you page uh, with information on how they can access the product that they just purchased. Okay, so that's the overall flow. But uh, let me explain to you a little bit about the checkout page too, because the first thing we're gonna have to do is to create an offer. So I want to show that as in an, a graph because to me, it's a little bit easier to see uh, in a graph format so I understand once the pages are connected. So the first thing you have to create is an offer. So we're gonna create an offer and in this case if you are in the weight loss niche uh, the first offer would be let's say weight loss. Anything related to weight loss that's gonna be your offer. Um, now within your offer there's gonna be the products that you're gonna sell so you can have a PDF if you wanna sell a PDF if, if you, you wanna have a video series with access Access to a membership site that's that's fine as well that these are gonna be your products so you can have multiple products as many as you would like inside your main offer which is weight loss now if you decide to separate and create another offer let's say a seasonal or just a once a year offer that's like a membership you can also create an offer and again inside that second offer you're gonna have all sorts of different products so that you can create underneath that um, that the second offer okay so I just wanted you to see how it's uh, connected so like first we're gonna create the offer and then we're gonna create the product okay so let's go ahead and put it put it all into practice okay so first off I've selected one of the templates we have available uh, if you go to our dashboard under funnel 
uh, you have the membership site and you've got all sorts of different templates this is the one that I picked for now and I just wanted to show you and I'll show you on how you can create just the checkout page from a blank page as well so in this funnel or the template that we have selected if you go to pages and then you've got uh, the, mem uh, the membership funnel webinar which is this right here you've got two pages one is the landing page which is this right here We've discussed that this page will give you information about the product uh, or you're going to give information about the product to the prospect. And then the checkout page would be this right here. So the checkout page is the one where you uh, uh, give more information about the product and what people are going to uh, receive and also uh, the amount. So once they, they decide to purchase, they click next. Let's just go ahead and preview right here. They click next and then they fill out this form before they purchase uh, or takes them to the uh, PayPal um, checkout process okay so that's that and then inside this funnel uh, you have the membership area for instance you've got uh, module home module one two three four basically this is the product so if you're looking at creating a membership site uh, with all sorts of different videos and you can have PDFs that people can download whatever it is that you uh, are teaching this might be the template uh, template that you want to use for this particular um, setup okay so the blueprint is basically showing you um, the blueprint of how this funnel works so you see here the the landing page to a checkout email sequence and then we also have the training uh, a step-by-step -step training for you to go through okay so let's go ahead and um, begin with our checkout page right here so obviously if you decide to uh, select a template page uh, one of the templates that we have available this is just a filler meaning you know if we're gonna have to delete this app and the app the way you add the app is right here you click the uh, little plus uh, icon and you go to the checkout and that's how you would select right here okay but let's go ahead and start one from scratch this one we're gonna go ahead and delete so let's go ahead and delete that and like I said the first thing we're gonna do is to create an offer so let's let's go uh, to where it says beta and then the first thing is we have to connect a payment manager so uh, before the offer even you have to connect to your PayPal account okay so uh, and you'll see what's gonna happen here so let's say you know this is my PayPal account example at email but obviously you're gonna select the email connected to PayPal let's go ahead and click Save and in this case um, it's showing as successful but if you don't have um, this template saved then it's gonna say error you have to save it first before you can actually connect the payment process okay so the second step is the offer so let's go ahead to offer manager and right here you've got the the offer that we initially have with this template and a bunch of text that are just fillers right so you can choose to add it or uh, add the new one and delete this altogether so let's go ahead and add it this one offer uh, let's click the, the little pencil and here is the name uh, here's is gonna be the end name of the offer so let's say weight loss okay and here's uh, the information about the weight loss uh, program that you have or the offer let's put a bunch of text right here the second thing you have is the payment method so in this case we're gonna select example which is the one that uh, selected before let me go back there to show you okay so if I wanted to uh, create another one let's go ahead and add alright so this one is uh, Alex test okay so I name the account as Alex tax uh, test and then the payment method is PayPal and then now I have to insert my email email goes here at Gmail okay and then let's go ahead and save okay I just wanted to show you right quick how it's done so the other one is offer let's go ahead and edit and then right here it's gonna show as Alex test see it's the name of that particular payment method that I have set up uh, coin it's gonna be just default uh, it's US dollars if you want to change anything then come in here and go ahead and change uh, automated email uh, I'll show you how that is configured but basically that's triggered under the uh, manage automated email 
if people decide to abandon the cart, uh, there's a, an email that they'll receive if they purchase or when they purchase, they get another email. It's all set up for you. It's very easy to set it up. The page here would be the page that you want people to go to once the purchase is is um, is through. So let's say they finish paying, then where do you want to send them to? In this case, this template already has pages uh, pre-made and pre-designed for you. If you have a membership site, you might want to send them to the home page right here, the home one. Okay, so once payment goes through, boom, they go, they land to the home uh, home one. All right, so here's where you upload the picture of your product. So if you have a different picture you want to upload, you can always come in here and then select whatever um, image you want. So for instance, th in this one right here, I'm just going to select this logo so uh, you see what it looks like. Click Next. Oh, one second. I have to confirm. Yeah, sorry. I have to select the... Uh, the US dollar right there so it's not set up for default let's go ahead and click uh, click next let's go ahead um, now the next thing is to edit the, uh, the the product so here is where you add the product itself okay so if we have the offer created like I showed you and now is the product that you want to uh, create so you can sell to people so this would be let's say um, a PDF okay workout PDF. All right, so here you specify how much it's going to be. In this case, I'm just going to leave as a dollar because it's for an example purposes and a bunch of description right here. And underneath you have, or next to it, you've got the image. Right underneath you have uh, what uh, you want to specify this uh, to be. So if it's a one time item, uh, this one is the one that you want to select. Uh, if it's a membership area, then you click you select the membership area and then now you have to also select the area uh, of the membership you can have multiple membership areas in this case it's already pop pre populating the one that's coming with this uh, template we're not going to select there's not going to be a, a membership area if it's a recurrent so if people are going to have to pay on a monthly basis you select here and then you have other options um, for people to pay if it's going to be a weekly, bi-weekly or, or monthly. So on a monthly subscription, that's how you would uh, uh, set up. And then the optional is, is this going to be optional to the uh, another product that you're selling? In this case, no, it's just one product. If it's optional, you can have a conditional, you can do a bunch of other things that we're not going to cover on this training because this is just an overview of how you can set it up the checkout page. Okay, so it's just a one time one one item and it's good to go. Um, right here, it's it's the email message. You can say uh, thanks. Uh, thank you for your order something like this uh, but also the email people are going to receive it's going to be set up on a different area in a different area right here so let's go ahead and save confirm and here you can review so uh, right here you've got the offer and one item that's created which is the workout PDF that you can uh, design okay so now uh, let's go ahead and add the widget to the page so you can choose whatever page on your site to add the checkout widget so let's go ahead and click the plus and check out and select that and it's going to uh, say which offer do you want to select in this case is this one right here your membership offer we didn't change the name so that's why it's pulling up uh, the pre-existing name so let's go ahead and confirm but you'll see that it's pulling up uh, the logo and the offer that we had initially design so right here you can uh, change the size you can adjust a little bit to make it look nicer if you if you want to change the, the look and feel of this form you can just right click and uh, select appearance and then right here is where you would change the color if you want a different color if you want red yellow we're just gonna leave in blue and then there's other options right here you can change where the image is located but you see you get the the gist of it so let's go ahead and click confirm and to preview 
I click that and then now once people land on this page they go to okay they read about it first right so you got the uh, the information about the product yes it's the PDF and it's just a dollar I'm gonna purchase so they click next they fill out this information and they click next and it's gonna take them to PayPal all right so the other thing I wanted to show you is that uh, if you go to beta so we set up the payment manager the offer is already set up and then sales manager here is when people purchase something is it's going to show right here so you can deny access or you can uh, let's say you want to give free access to someone they can just go through this process and before paying uh, they just abandon the cart you can always come back here and just um, basically give them access through this uh, area okay and so the automated emails that is created or that's connected to this form it's right here so manage automated emails so if i click here there's one already uh, set up as default you can always create the new one in this case we're just going to use what's uh, pre-made so i'll click the little engine icon and as you can see there's several different emails so the abandoned cart uh, you, if you want to change anything you can just go ahead and come in here and select whatever text you want to change and begin typing okay so the only thing i wouldn't change is anything to do with the uh, these diff different codes like offer items and such so you don't mess things up uh, when it's sub supposed to be sent out you know send this after three days so if people abandon the cart within a, th a three days period they're, they're going to get another email saying hey it's still you still have time to complete this purchase remember you abandoned the cart before you actually process the payment so uh the pur purchase a completed message so this is the email that they'll get thank you for your order uh just quick information uh purchase offer title yada yada so recurring payment this is the email that they'll receive once uh if if you're using the recurring option the next month or the the, the first month after the first month that they uh, they paid for the product then that's the email that they'll, they'll receive and the cancel uh once the people click to cancel that's the email confirmation that they would receive that the um, recurring payment has been canceled okay so basically that's where you would set it set this up once everything is set up like the order the emails and you click saved then you're good to go it's just that simple so my advice to you is go ahead and play with this if you have any questions hit us up on the um, the Facebook private group that we have available for all the builder all platform members if you're not a part yet just go ahead and uh, request access and we'll give you free access so you can begin interacting with other entrepreneurs also our support team and you can always reach uh, reach out to us if you have any questions on setting things up as, but as you can see it's very 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 easy for you to set it up and begin collecting uh, money from um, people for purchases and uh, products and services that you have to offer so i hope you like this video i'll definitely be catching you on the next one look out because we've got much more trainings coming your way thank you very much and i'll catch you on the next video